With 50 years of history behind them, we spoke to some of the guys who have been playing in Gippsland since the mid-60s, who recently got together after all these years to play to an appreciative crowd at the Latrobe Valley Hotel in Morwell. It, it's 50 years for, for us, the class of 66, but these were the guys that inspired us and nurtured us, kept us going. Yeah, yeah it means something similar to me because I remember these kids when they were kids, you know, 14, 15, and we were the big guys sitting on the stage, you know, and we, we made it sort of thing. We hadn't, and, we hadn't but we thought we had. And you yeah. are? Well, <laughs> I came into the band late because I wanted to get in the music, so I had to fly me away, and I was the only one who had a car. That's why they let me play with them, right? Right. It's a pomp, too. Yeah. I was a pomp, too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, Alan Tatlow, well, to me tonight's about um, friendship, really, having known each other as long as we have, and, you know, shared music and really shared background. I think we're all from migrant families to the Trail Valley, so yeah. we, we have a lot in common and it's just nice we've all survived and kept in touch. We've been made all our lives and we've all gone away and done with jobs and come back, but we're back and it's like we haven't been away. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're a bit older now. Yeah. I've stayed the same, I've stayed the same but, but, yeah. but that's really what it means to us, our life mates. Yeah. You've not seen nothing like a mighty queer. Come on within, come on within. You've not seen nothing like a mighty queer. Everybody's building ships and boats. Some are building monuments. Others jumping down notes. Look at the turnout here tonight for, for the uh, gig. It's great, isn't it? It's impressive. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, and the weather. A few familiar faces. Have you caught up with anyone? Absolutely, absolutely. This Come is here. like Alex, for example. Oh, yes. Hey, how are you going? Yeah, Hello, Alex. Fly over the structure in the house. Yeah, in the house. Oh, you know, he's the son of one of the legends. I am, yeah. And how's your dad going up there tonight? Oh, mate, he is absolutely nailing it. Um, he's on board the base at the moment, but get on board because uh, he'll be on the electric later and mate, just he'll, he'll slay it all. My friend Alan, who is now up on stage, is going to, he sings, plays the guitar and the harmonica. And he told me he's in town, so I asked my friend and we came along. I used to be a barmaid here about 35 years ago and it's just a complete whole restructure of the place, absolutely. And do you remember these guys back when they used to play here in the early days? Alan and I started high school together. We've been friends all these years. I'm not telling you how old I am and how long we've known each other, but we've been friends for a long, long time. And I've sort of followed him around, you know. Especially Alan and I, we play together a lot through different bands so we just look at each other and we know what's going to happen next and that's it and Fred's getting to be the same when so we caught up again. Yeah. yeah because Fred was sorry Fred was up in Queensland for a while Trent so um, we, we reconnected when he moved back down and yep. hence rebuilding the, the, the rat whore. Did you see the Easter Bunny? I did. Yeah, yeah. I think, well, that, that was the last time we really had a yeah. big reunion of all the older bands and that, and that was '89. Mm. So uh, it's taken a long time to, to sort of try and get us all back together. I think Ray and I grew up next door to each other, and we, and we were just starting off. And these guys were about a couple of years ahead, so they were the gods, and they were local, you know, which is even better. Um, Sandy uh, was a little bit younger again, but he was a child prodigy even then. So we were waiting for him to be allowed out a bit more, because we were 14 when we started, 16 when we got on the road with these guys, with the likes of these guys, and uh, it took off from there. But we were all within a torpedo kick of each other. You know, there was a band on every corner, it seemed, and in the main, Mostly good quality. Good, yeah. good quality, because as you mentioned, they were migrant families, you know, similar set up to the Easy Beats, perhaps. Yeah. You know, music was in every home. 1967, that was the last time I played around here for many years, because I was leaving for England the next day. This is so long ago, I was leaving on a boat. So we had a great um, send off night for me over at what's now the Morwell RSL. And uh, it was called the, uh, the Karma. The Karma. Yeah. 
club. And uh, so that was a terrific night. So late, late to uh, uh, bed, I, I packed all my gear up, got my whatever it was, $20, and then off next morning to uh, the boat for, for England to audition for the... <laughs> yes, yes. No, that was a, that was a nice time. But then coming back and, and just yeah. picking up pretty much where we'd left off 12, 13, 14 years previously, it was quite seamless to just pick up and start playing again. Talking of the Karma Club, how long I played just a couple of years back there, and there were some people watching us and talking to us, and I, I was saying to the people, oh, why haven't we uh, had a uh, cup of tea instead of a beer? And, now we, you know, and this lady, I said to her, we played here 50 years ago, and she said, I know I was here. <laughs> and that was wonderful. There was a, um, a competition called the Battle of the Bands, yeah. Hoadley's Battle of the Bands, and uh, we won the local heat, heat of it. We played in Festival Hall. I thought I'd always wanted to play in Festival Hall. <laughs> we didn't do any good, but... We had a, an enormous Violet Crumble we did. suspended a, over a us. Suspended Violet, violet Crumble. <laughs> hey, when you go no, past that. Violet crumble. no, I do, I do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good yeah. boy. <laughs> yeah. The way it went was, as I was saying, you do your apprenticeship, and then you gradually get you get to play the palace. Yeah. And we were on the bottom of the bill. I don't think you were playing that night, but he was there. And everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. And I played like a dog, you know. So after the, the set's finished, I'm straight out in the car park, blubbering and uh, Fred comes in. This is the way I remember it, yeah? you, you might not, but this is the way I took it yeah. and I've run with it for all my life. The essence is there. He says, geez, Mac, a pitch of glad that gig's over. I guarantee you're never gonna play that badly again. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, you're damn right, I'm going straight home, locking my room, locking myself in the room. I'm not coming out ever again. <laughs> a man never, it, never at a loss for the right word <laughs> the right time. And then the, the clincher. He says, oh, that's a shame, because I wanted you to play at my dance tomorrow. <laughs> and if you hadn't have done that, I would have been, yeah, I don't know what I would have been done. So he's, he's a hero and I am or something. All the best for tonight. We know it's going to go well, and now we'll let you go and get your food. Yeah, well, thanks, thanks, yeah, thanks very thanks. much. Thanks, 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 thank, thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, Joe. We gotta go. Me, oh my. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to visit us at liveatspectrum.com.au Find us on Facebook and Twitter.